Hello, welcome to today's edition of Joy News Interactive with me, Benis Abu Beidou. You're streaming live from DSTV on DSTV Channel 421 and Go TV Channel 144. Joy News on Multi TV coming to you from digital address DA0993341. You can drop your messages and get very interactive with us via Facebook and Twitter. Our name is Joy News on TV. Now, let's start off with this one that has got quite a number of people talking and it has to do uh, with uh, some, you know, issues happening in the AU. We'll pick up your comments on that shortly uh, because the AU building, which was put up by China, well, we are learning, according to an investigation by French newspaper Le Monde, that that particular building... As computer network has been compromised and China actually has access to the AU's computer network and they have access to the institution's secret at will. Now the report also said that every night between midnight and 2 a.m. there was a strange peak in data usage even though the building was almost entirely empty. Upon further investigation the technicians noticed something even stranger that data which included confidential information was being sent to servers based in Shanghai. We are literally, like we say in tree parlance, asleep but our legs are outside. According to this report uh, by this newspaper, uh, this French newspaper, a lot of you have been saying, oh well, if someone donates a building to you, what else do you expect? There's no free lunch, is there? But smart and access, uh, we have nothing to say. We morally deserve that because our leaders are myopic and they're doing nothing to make our continent a better place. And Nane Nchibwesiako says, we don't have architects here in Africa. He's asking, we don't have financial institutes here in Africa. Everything China. Paris says, even your Tiro is made in China. Sad, isn't it? And Tapiwa says, what's the point of having African builders, architects, and engineers, if you don't even use them. Now, guys, the question is not even about using your architect. It's about whether you have the money to put up such a building. You can get onto our Facebook page. You see a photo of the AU's uh, building in, in Addis Ababa. Ebenezer Assem says, when we refuse to be self-sufficient and always beg uh, on the Ethiopian street, what do you expect to be receiving when Trump says it? We get emotional, all right. Nathaniel Nati says, that's very good. Africans and African leaders will learn a lesson next time. They'll generate funds from Africa to build their institutions, says the belittle Kwame Nkrumah's view that the African is capable of managing its own affairs. Wale says, so does it mean that Africa hasn't gotten, hmm, I'm wondering why everybody's talking about architecture. Because even if you have the good architects, the question is, do you have the money? To build that. Anyway, Nana Kojo says the increasing penetration of China into Africa is dangerous. We must stop it now. Prince Marshall says they should seal them right away. Well, we are picking some information that the AU and China are dismissing this particular investigation by uh, the French newspaper Le Monde. Uh, but well, I'm not sure. Mm, the paper would just want to put this out, would they? Anyway, Safo Rachmel says, we are not embracing our own technology, Africans, we can. And Yankee Nanayao Immanuel says, are you guys lying or the paper is joking? And uh, Victor Dom says, it's wake up, I'm sure you mean wake up call to our leaders. And Walanya says, what has gone wrong? Or they deliberately did that to get information. Then if so, we'll drag them to International Criminal Court. Trust me. Well, hopefully we'll see what would happen with that, but let's go on to talk about George Weah because it's just been a little over a week since he was sworn in as Liberia's president. And guys, he's been doing a couple of things that a lot of people believe is very bold. You know, I'll be taking you through uh, those things shortly. But one is that he's cut his salary by 25%. Yes, you heard me. He's cut his salary by 25%. Uh, let's quickly come down and see that post and let me bring you the other details. The other is that he's. Um, trying to get a racist clause in the constitution removed and that clause res restricts citizenship to black people and he also wants the ban on dual citizenship to, to be abolished he's also pledged to scrap the law prohibiting foreigners from owning land now we've been asking you what you make of these and he made all these revelations in his first state 
of the nation address, president of Liberia, George Weah. Amenya Prince thinks that he's a selfless man and has a good conscience. He doesn't want to be rich while those who voted him in office before. Other leaders uh, should emulate his move. Frankie Darling says, honestly, I thought he wasn't going to take any salary since he's already rich. But like the other changes he's bringing, okay, but you like the other changes he's bringing to Liberia. Frankie, really, would you work for free even if you were rich? <laughs> Cass Parker says, uh, okay, you think that President Okufado should do the same? He should cut his salary? Okay, right. Emmanuel, Emmanuel says, he should come and take his people who are stuck in Ghana, those refugees. All right, all right. I'm not sure what you mean by misbehaving. But Ishmael Ibrahim says, he should talk about food. People need food. Hunger is what is, is given the African president's problem. So feed people. Oh, Ishmael doesn't seem too impressed, does he? Memo says, Mr. President, please don't turn Liberia to Zimbabwe, uh, where whites own all the best lands, no to dual nationality. Mm. And uh, this one says, let me finish drinking my pure water before I will wait for you to finish. Uh, Bernard Mensa says, that's a sign of a good leader. And uh, he wants President Okufado to learn from him uh, instead of, you know, giving some family relations uh, appointments. Kwame Saxer says, please, people should tell him that some of his people are here, so he should come for them. Oh, Ghana, why? Sal Abdul says, we are forgetting that it's not only about the leader, but the people he picks to help him. All right. Benjamin Nanakwachi says, he's not in for the fame, no money. He's seen it all. He wants to work for his people. And Edward Viney says, he's in the right direction. God bless him and Liberia. Now, if you just joined the show, we are talking about Liberian President George Bia, uh, who has been uh, revealing some bold initiatives uh, at his first State of the Nation address. First, he's cut his salary by 25%. He's also uh, saying that he wants a certain, quote-unquote, racist clause in the Constitution that only allows black people to be citizens of Liberia scrapped and also wants the ban on dual citizenship uh, lifted. So, Mohammed Anas says, critical decisions, but I hope uh, he attains success. Abdullah says he's doing uh, okay, an excellent job. Abu Bakar Sidi says, very bold and bold decision, more grease to his elbow. Christopher Nathan says, if he alone cuts his salary by 25%, it's a good sign. He has a team and those members might not be as rich as he is. My, my advice is that he trusts cautiously. This is Africa. And Abdullah says, yes, that is the way. It talks about diversity. And Enpa Ama says, the man for the job. And Shamrock says, good move, but foreigners can own land for only business purposes. That's it, all right. And now Winnie Kwame Jacob says, I think we need him here to advise our leaders uh, like two to three weeks on how to sacrifice. This is a good leader. And... Um, Michael Edu says, cool, Georgia is learning from Nanado. All right, I, I do, you don't state how, but it looks like there are some reactions. Someone is most too pleased about that comment. Mark Agri Fifi says he's genuine, very much justice, a true born African. Uh, those are some of your comments you posted on our Facebook page about Liberia's president, George Weah. Isaac Quay says, great and intelligent move. Summer Hassan just has that gift there, clapping. All he can do is to just applaud him. And um, So if you have something to say about this move by Liberia's president, George Weah, you can get onto our Facebook page and do so. Now, there was drama at a recent church service when Bishop Daniel Obinim, founder of the International God's Way Church, attempted to fly to heaven. Now, I'll let you see it and, and tell me what you make of it. Just look at it. This is Bishop Angel Obinim, supposedly flying to heaven. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't see that. You want to see it again, right? Okay, just watch it again. 
Why are you laughing? He was en route to heaven. That was his flight to heaven, and his church members topped him. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of you have been sharing your thoughts on this video that's gone quite viral. A lot of people sharing it on WhatsApp, some of you know, Facebook, and all that. Uh, we'll take your comments quickly uh, on that. But you know, Bishop Obinim has done quite a number of things that a lot of people think is controversial, like asking his uh, members to bring their used underwear so he can pray for them. And I don't know, did you see the one of uh, Prophet Shepherd Bushiru? He claimed that he was walking on air. Guys, the prophets are doing things nowadays, you know. But Harry of Fosuenim says, the guy laughing. <laughs> <laughs> laughing in the background he's tickling me hashtag opium of the masses very much justice says ignorance is a disease hmm and Malik says look we are all drunk by these things and Ture Dambaki says I've donated my eyes after watching this video then Wesley says what a pity Sina Bema says ah Obinim Airline Limited <laughs> If you want to fly to heaven, contact him to be precise. This man needs 20 years fasting and deliverance. Mohammed says they should have allowed him to fall down. Next time, he wouldn't do it again. And Zachariah Samuel says, I don't blame him. I blame his so-called church members. Humu laughs and says, now the comedians are too many in Ghana. You can't even recognize them. Masudu laughs, says God will punish this man. Oh, Masudu, why, 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 why? He says he's an angel of God, and he was just, you know, probably going on a regular visit. And at this time, he wanted to do it, you know, in the full glare of his church members. But he decided to stop him. But I don't know why he decided to stop him. Do you, I mean, are you wondering why? I don't, I don't know. And so Bini was going to have his church members stopped him. But why would they want to do that? Anox says he's achieved it because, yeah. We are talking about it, all right? If you think there are more pressing issues, obviously, as I always say on our Facebook page, a wide range of issues we are posted there. But here we take a thought on trending subjects, and this is one of them. And Flash says there's something wrong somewhere about this man. This is a KLM opinion flight, Captain to Heaven. Only in Ghana. And Holali thinks, you know what, enough of the jokes, guys. This is an insult to the heavenly angels. Mm. Sally Fugariba says entertainment and size even if Jesus comes back he won't recognize his religion again Albert Papa says just wondering if they stopped him well that's what we hear that he was stopped and then Walter Edwards says this should tell us the death of ignorant uh, people we have in that church then this one says why didn't he jump before the church members uh, I do, uh, okay alright I get what you mean <laughs> a trending video and we thought why not take your thoughts on it the angel of being him flying to heaven but being stopped by his church members I, I need to find a church member and ask them why why they stopped him they should have let him go maybe he'll come back with you know some goodies as he always claims anyway we'll take a quick breather here when we come back spiky joins me in studio for a tech wednesday don't go away <laughs> to figure out from Spiky what he's got for us today. Hello, Spiky. How are you? I'm very, very well. Good to see you. you. All right, Spiky, let's talk about Google Photos and yep. the untapped, as you want to put it, <laughs> or the underutilization of Google Photos. Tell us more about it. What are we not doing with Google Photos that we can? Okay, so Google Photos is one of like the greatest apps that Google has brought you know, out there. And... A lot of people underutilize it. Besides just backing up their photos and then going back to recover them, they don't use it. There's a lot of things that it can do, and these are just a few of them that I'm going to show off okay, here. Great. So number one, backup. You can backup all your pictures, and it can automatically has a Google Assistant which can 
compile some of these things and create a slideshow out of them. It can create an animation, a GIF animation. It can also create some very, very funky looking slides. So what, that's one of them that you can do. Then on the second one, you can actually search for pictures that you're looking for. So I, I, I love cars. But in this screenshot, you can see dogs. So maybe you have <laughs> pictures of dogs in there in your album, and you want to find them. You just type in the search bar dogs, and it will find all pictures of dogs in your Google Photos album. Mm -hmm. You can type cars, you can type plants, you can type night. Mm -hmm. You can even type where you took the picture from. So say you took the picture in Accra, and your location data is on. You can actually search for Accra, and it will give you that pictures that were taken in Accra. So moving on, you can also tag people's faces. Mm -hmm. So if I took a picture with you, Bernice, for instance, I can tag you in there, and then it would recognize every picture that has Bernice in there. Mm. So the moment I search for Bernice, all pictures of Bernice would come up. And then moving on, you can, I was explaining about the animations, the GIF mm -hmm. animations, and then you can also pinch to zoom out, mm -hmm. so you can get a much more clearer overview of your pictures. And then you can upload pictures from your Google Photos to YouTube. So say you want to create a slideshow on YouTube, but you don't want to download the pictures and then now upload them. You just go to YouTube, go to your upload section, and there's a place where you can just click import videos from Google Photos or import photos from Google Photos and it can create that for you. Mm -hmm. It makes it very easy. All right, Spiky. So here's the thing. I use an iPhone. Yeah. You know that. And... Um, <laughs> Can I? Can I back up my photos? Yes, you Google can. Photos? It's actually one of the tips I give people who use iPhones all the time. Install Google Photos, scratch iCloud, because Google gives you unlimited backup space with Google Photos. So you can, you can back up all your pictures unlimited mm -hmm. to Google Photos. There's a catch, though. It's not backing them at a full resolution. It's backing them at an optimized resolution. It's still yeah. clear, though. And you don't want that. You know, <laughs> if you have a thing for quality photos, then, then that's quite problematic. It's not, that, it's, it's, not, it? it's, not, it's not horrible, trust me. I've seen okay. people w who've taken much higher resolution pictures, and they look horrible <laughs> than all right. what someone Okay, has. so all we have to do is to download that app, the Google and photos then app. Yeah. We, we have access to unlimited storage for our photos and exactly. videos. Okay, now, if I delete that photo on my phone, hmm. Does it affect the backup? No. There's actually an advantage when you use Google Photos. So for instance, if you have a backup on your, on your I mean, you backed up your pictures to Google Photos mm -hmm. and you want to delete what's on your phone because you already have the backup, Google Photos actually allows you to free up space. Mm -hmm. So you just go into your settings and it'll, it'll give you an option where you can free up space. So it checks your phone for the pictures you've already backed up and then matches them with what you've backed up and then takes the ones off your phone. Oh wow, makes it easy. Yeah. yeah. All right, okay, before you go, Kobe yeah. and, and guys, we'll, it, I'm sure we cannot do everything with Google Photos here. I'll, I'll just advise that if you're interested, you download the app and play around with it. But hey, Kobe is always available. If you have any questions, just hit him up on Facebook and he'll help you if he can. But Kobe, you know, before mm. you came in with this story, uh, done by a newspaper yeah. from France, Le Monde, about um, a certain breach in, in, in the computer networking system of yeah. the AU. And what, what they are telling us is that China, and they built that uh, uh, edifice for the mm. AU, they have access. Yes. Like they've created a sort of backdoor uh, where they can access everything in the computer network. Mm. Tell us how that's possible briefly. Just explain to us. Okay, so with it's just like the way you get infected by a virus or you get infected by spyware. What these things do is they sit on your computer, you don't know they're there, and then they, it gives the user or the whoever infected you remote access to your computer. So I can then decide to fetch files mm -hmm. or monitor your computer or even just view your screen and see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So it's a remote access tool that was probably used a rat. When you, install, when you have a rat on a computer, the user doesn't know there's a rat on the computer. They just keep using it unless you have very, very advanced uh, antivirus software. But if I set up the computer for you and I told you I put 
an antivirus on it. I put a rat to there. Mm -hmm. There's you can't, no you can't way tell. tell exactly. Anyway, thank you so much for the details. Spike. It's good to have you here. Hopefully, we'll do this again next week, Wednesday. Sure. That'll be all for this edition of Journeys Interactive. If you want to go through what Spikey thought us, we upload our, our shows on YouTube. You can do well. We're also very interactive on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, do like us if you haven't done so yet. I'm done for today, but I'll be back at 12 with the news. But before I go, or as I go, I'll leave you with our video of the day. Take care.